This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Battles versus Watkins. You all have been dating for five years, and you were living together until two weeks ago, Miss Battles. Why did you move out? Well, Your Honor, I left because I know Carlos is cheating, for one. First of all, how do you go from loving and caring to nothing at all? There's no romance in this relationship. We don't even... He don't even touch me no more. There, we don't even make love anymore. And two, I found condoms in his pocket. We don't even use condoms. On top of that, I found him texting another female on Facebook. And if Carlos is cheating, I just want to be done with it. I want to be... See, I, I just want to leave. See, let me stop Mr. you Mr. Right Watkins. There. Let me stop you right there. Mr. Watkins, what are you here to prove today? I'm here to prove that I'm not cheating on her. Okay, well, you're here to say that you're not cheating, but no, why I'm is she not, finding condoms in your pocket? I found those condoms from a... <laughs> I, I found those condoms at the store. And then when You're I got right. to the house, you found... I straight pulled them out. You found them at the store. At the Where store. Where people buy and... them. Hey, Who brings buy those the... found Look, condoms? Who does that? I found those condoms <laughs> at the store. Where in the world did you find the condoms at the store? In the gas ground. station. On the ground? On the ground. And you just picked she, them up. And then she put it as, oh, you know, you bought these condoms. How did I buy those condoms and I only had enough money to go to the store for how much I had? Either way it goes, it's trifling. You don't use condoms. Right. So why would you need a box of condoms? Because I got family members and friends that ask me, do you got a condom? And I be like, no. I'm with one woman. What do I need condoms for? Well, is that a thing? Like, yo, man, you got a condom. Is that a thing? For family members or friends, be like, so, oh, I just met okay, this girl. So he's I'm... a condom dispensary. <laughs> That's what you know, I'm saying, Your Honor. I say, hey, I love to help out. You know, he's... he's a giver. He, he's a giver, yeah. <laughs> Nothing says good friend or relative like condoms. All right. I... Well, Miss Battles, Protection. as admirable as that is, you didn't buy that. That's why you moved out. Just not that. Being in a relationship, y'all got a bond like no other, you know? And you can just tell when that other person is not there. They're somewhere else. Their mind is just somewhere else. You just don't feel it no more. She's over-exaggerating. You're... I, I guarantee... You're under-exaggerating. I guarantee so, that I never cheated on you. So she's making all this up. This making is all in all, her head. I'm like making all this up in her head. Like, it's just gotta be a little hiccup or something, you know, right there in the head. Like, oh. No. Like, no. And, well, He's making all of it up. No. Here's my question. We've got the condoms. Is there any other reason that you believe that Mr. Watkins is cheating? We were asleep around 1 a.m. in the morning. He gets a phone call, and I could clearly hear there's a female on the other end. He tells me it's a family emergency. Mind you, I'm real close to his family. He gets up, he leaves. And, Your Honor, I cannot make this up. He comes back in the car I'd never seen before. There's a female passenger and he reeks of liquor. And when he comes in, I ask him what's going on. He doesn't even look at me, doesn't talk to me. He gets in the bed smelling like liquor and goes to sleep. What time did he come back? He came back around 6 a.m. All right, Mr. Walker. And that, and that woman voice that what she heard. What family emergency involves... Exactly. My, my uh, family members got into it and, and, uh, uh, and her, uh, you know, another family member came and... Look at him. Pick he just looked like a pick me up. At 1 a.m., you get a call that family members are, are into it, what, whatever that is, right? Because I can but, talk. I'm, I know how to talk. Talk to a family member. Then they feel like they can, you know, talk to me. Mr. Watkins is a man. They can go to him for condoms. Yeah. They can go to him for counseling. <laughs> exactly. Like, I mean, he's, like, he's, he's the like, full-service family like, I'm member. I'm not finna tell him a lot, you know? <laughs> they feel like I'm not finna lie to him and tell him. I just tell him, like, calm down. Like, it's not that serious. How long y'all been together is not that serious, you know? Now, the part where I probably was wrong at is not calling her, but I told her I got okay. it. I got it. Like, I'm good. I'm safe. Because every time I leave the house, she'll say, be careful. And I say, always. Why didn't you tell her what you had been doing when she asked you? What happened? And I told her everything was all right. Like, no, it took he didn't, care, it Your took Honor. What happened right when he came in? He told me he, he always... This is what he always say whenever I ask him anything. I'm grown. I don't have to tell you anything. I'm a grown man. And is oh, that what he told you that night? Mr. Always Mr. Tells Mr. Tells Watkins. Mr. Okay, look. School I'm going to give you some advice. School him. Right. School me. You cannot get a phone call from a woman at 1 o'clock in the morning, get up, leave... Come back at 6 o'clock being dropped off by another woman, come in smelling like friend alcohol. Of the Don't forget friend of the With a friend of the family. family. Come in smelling like alcohol, and then when you're asked about it, respond by saying, look, I'm a man, I can do what I want to do. That's not going to fly in any household. I'm just, See, look, I'm just giving you... 
I'm giving you some advice. I'm telling you. And because of that, Miss Battles, that just doesn't sit right with you. You think there's something going on. At all. I just, I just feel it in my bones. Like, I just know. Like I said, I now, know he cheating on me. I know he is. What other things have made you suspicious? Well, I went through his phone and I seen messages of him texting another female while I was at work. You had the code. He had her come pick him up from our house. So now I'm kind of wondering, like, are you sleeping with other females in our bed? No. Like, is that what's going on? Like, like is you, do you got them in our house? The disrespect. I just feel house. so disrespected. Like, like, but then it's just a friend of the family come around. It's a whole it's big It's a whole deal. lot of friends uh, of the family. I, I, it's true. Yeah. Well, okay, see, so Mr. Meet, Watkins... You meet this same... This, this, this one that you did not want to meet at all these family gatherings, like, you don't really want to meet the friends of the family. Why is all the Watkins, friends of the family Wait, wait, wait. Mr. Watkins, were you communicating with another woman? As far as a ride was, to get to my, my family member's house. So you called up some woman, the a same, friend of the family... A friend of the family. ...to give you a ride to your family member's house. Yes, because that's how they said, they, you want to uh, come and get me? We'll say gas in my car. They'll be, the, they'll be in the car, too. Do you have evidence of this? Yes. Would you please get that Ron? Yes, y'all. So, what we have here is a uh, text message back and forth right. between Mr. Watkins and another woman. Mr. Watkins, hey, baby, what's up with you? Nothing much, bored. I'm trying to see you before my girl get off work. Right. We can make that happen. Okay, why are you trying to see another woman before your girl gets off of work? That's an old Facebook friend that I wasn't friends with. She was at my family member's house, and they told okay, her, like... Okay, okay, you... Guess, no, guess no, 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 no. Like, Cut, guess who's please over here. Me. You got it? I got this. <laughs> I'm asking you a direct question. You answering everything but it. So I'm gonna just walk you down, okay? okay. Why are you trying to see your family friend slash non-friend while your girl is at work? Before I, she gets off work. Because I ain't seen her in a while. Did you see her? Uh, yeah, uh, my, yeah, that's when we went to my... Did you sleep house. with her? No, ma'am. But the message starts off, hey, baby, what's up with you? And this is somebody you haven't seen in a while. That's how, that's how I talk. Baby is in all capitals. <laughs> hey, baby. I mean, that's in all caps. <laughs> Ms. Battles, are there any other women that you are concerned about? Yes. Actually, a family member of mine, whenever we have family functions, I noticed that they would be a little too close to each other, a little too flirtatious. I asked her about it. She was real snooty about it. She said, me and Carlos, we good. So I said, to be more specific, are you sleeping with my man? And her answer was, one time. You actually submitted to, to the court a text message between you and this family member. Is that correct? Yes. And it reads, you send to her, I'm asking you, you supposed to be loyal to me. Me and him, we cool. But did y'all sleep together one time? So your family member put this in writing to you. Yes. And what so, that Mr. Watkins, and, and okay, that wait a minute. You? She got jealous family members. I guarantee they want what she got. And what they got is you. Me. Everybody they, wants But they're not family. going to get it. He got everything. Because I'm a faithful guy, you feel me? Well, there's... Her story, there's your story, and we have another woman here who has something to say. We want to hear it. Oh. Ron, would you escort the next witness? Yes, Your Honor. All right, Miss Beck, how are you familiar with the litigants? This is my grandson. Okay. Mm hmm and what do you know about their relationship? What is your understanding? Well, I, they've been together a while, you know, staying together and everything, and she, all of a sudden, he cheating. But I don't believe he cheating, though, because I know my grandchildren. But the testimony has been that he had condoms in his pocket. We have some text messages here that indicate he's like, hey, baby, what's up with you? I'm trying to see you before my girl get off work. He's leaving in the morning at 1 o'clock after getting a phone call, coming back, you know, at 6 in the morning with no explanation. And uh, liquor on his breath. Liquor on his breath. I mean, all that kind of points to him cheating. A lot of times they get phone calls if I might be calling. So some if of the... If I call, I don't feel good they're coming. So some of the phone calls that Mr. Watkins gets about family members he needs to go see about is coming from you. Yeah. 
Or, you know, he, he got, he got uh, four brothers, he got a sister, mother, father. That's basically all I hang around is, family. That's who we hang with all the time. And you don't believe he's cheating? No, I don't. I really and truly don't. Because my, my gra- I, got, I got six grandsons, okay? And they the type, when they with somebody, they with them. You know, okay, but my question is, we have a text from her family member. She asked her directly, but did y'all sleep together? Yes. And the family member, her family member, said it one time. I, is I, that consistent with he, what he's familiar with in his family? So she probably just trying to start some stuff between them. See, that's why I don't believe that. All right, Ms. Beck, thank you so much for your testimony. If you have a seat right there, please. We have got a five-year relationship on the line. She thinks you're cheating. You say you're not cheating. To get to the bottom of this, the court would like to call Lena Sisko, who is a former military interrogator, to the courtroom. Ron, would you please escort Ms. Sisko into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. Ms. Sisko, would you please state for the court record your credentials? Yes, Your Honor. I am a former Department of Defense certified military interrogator, and I conducted interrogations on members of Al-Qaeda and Taliban shortly after 9-11. Since that time, I have been training law enforcement personnel, Department of Defense, and agency, as well as private sector, in interrogation methods and enhanced interviewing techniques. So your interrogation techniques are to actually put people in jail? Yes, yeah. And it's also to find people that may be adverse to our country's interest. Yes. You know what you're doing. I know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you did to investigate this case. Sure. I had the accused write a witness statement, which I then analyzed for any indicators of deception. I studied his case file, and I put together an interrogation for him, and then I interrogated him to see if, indeed, he was cheating on his girlfriend of five years. What were your initial findings? So initially, he was very open, engaging with me. His body language was open. He had consistent answers and details, but there was one problem that I did have. It was a concern that I had when I questioned him about the condoms. Okay, tell us about that. So when I questioned him about the condoms, all of a sudden there was a significant shift in his body language, and it went from very open to very closed. So it made me feel that he was very uncomfortable around that question, and I just felt I had to dig a little deeper to get to the absolute truth. Your investigation pertained to the entire five years since they started dating. Uh, So that would obviously include everything we've heard in court today, including the condoms. Correct. And I did, when I interrogated him, against all the evidence set against him, I wanted to find out if specifically he had any sexual contact or sexual intercourse with any other female other than his girlfriend of five years. You look anxious. That's the only word. Are, is your heart, I mean, it looks like your heart's going... Even though I love him, even though he's been there for me when my brother died in 2011, he's... I just, I just be having memories of every little silly thing he did. He proposed to me at the Riverwalk with a, with a ring pop. It had everybody thinking that we was getting married. I just be thinking of everything. I'm gonna have to let all that go and I'm gonna have to start over because I cannot tolerate him cheating on me. I can't. I come second to nobody when I'm in a relationship. So the results of Ms. Sisko's investigation will determine whether or not you have this relationship? Yes. Ms. Sisko? Yes. As a result of your investigation, what did you conclude? So as a person who's conducted hundreds of interrogations and put people behind bars, I have to say that I believe that Mr. Watkins is being 100% truthful and he has not had any sexual contact or sexual intercourse with another female outside of your relationship. I would never do you like that, man. You know, you know I would never do you like that. I would never do you like that. You know I would never do you like that. Miss Battles, how are you feeling? I just want to move on, but at the same time, I just want you to just, just stop giving me reasons to think that you're cheating. Like, you can't stop doing the stuff that made me fall in love with you. There's no romance there. Every woman needs romance. I will make sure I do whatever it takes 
to make everything right or make it just like the beginning when I first met you. Miss Battles and Mr. Watkins, <laughs> to further investigate this matter, we also did a polygraph. The court would like to discuss those results with you in chambers. Court is adjourned. You all have been together for two years. You're engaged to be married. We should be hearing wedding bells. But the outcome of today's proceeding will determine whether this wedding is on or off. Mr. Steele, tell me about that. Well, I've devoted a lot of time and everything to this relationship, and I just need to know 100% that she's being loyal to me. You know, I've... Financial stress and all that, you know, I just can't take it. I need to know for sure. I've proved my loyalty. I need to know on her end that she's loyal to me. I'm loyal to you. And if you determine that she's not being loyal, what does that mean for your relationship? I'm not really sure right now how to answer that because uh, I do love her and I, we have a family together and I can't imagine walking away from them kids. Yeah. <sighs> Ms. Bennett, you heard him. He's like, I, I, wa I want to be with you. I love her. I love Once I pass this test, he's going to kiss my butt in front of everybody here. <laughs> oh, boy. The, the accusing is going to stop or he's going to pack his stuff and leave. She's so, had it up to here, too. Yeah, she's going on the offensive. Yeah. Like, if you don't apologize, once I'm determined not to be cheating, then you gotta go. Right. So, right. I've I don't know about a relationship, but the marriage would be off. All right. Your Honor, I have this wedding dress that has been hanging up in my closet, staring at me, mocking me, because oh. I'm wanting to wear it. I've never thought I would get married, and I've been planning my dream wedding for all my life. And I just want to prove to him that I'm faithful. All right. So as you see it, today's proceeding is the last hurdle you need to get over so you can wear your wedding dress. Yeah. So you can walk down the aisle. Yes. Mrs. Steele, she wants to get married to you. I want to marry her more than anything. I just need to know that I'm investing all this financial stress and everything into somebody who's loyal to me. I need to know. I can't just go all in and not have that reassurance. You've got to have the answer. Yes. He's my knight in shining yep. armor. He's your knight in shining yes. arms. I've been made fun of my whole life, and he don't do that. He makes me feel beautiful, but lately he's not been making me feel beautiful with all the accusing. Mr. Steele, let me ask you this. How did you two meet? We met on a dating profile, a dating website, and, you know, I, I messaged her probably several, probably 100 times, honestly, before she responded to me. But you were still persistent, though. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so what was it on her profile that made you say, I've got to meet her? I don't know. I, I guess I'm just a... I like to think I'm a good judge of character. And I, I've, I've watched her, you know, go all out for people who wouldn't even give her the time of day. You know, that you don't find people like that every day. And so because of her character, what you perceive to be her character, you were like, I am interested in this person. Exactly. But for some reason... Something has made you think that she's cheating. What kind of signs have you seen to say, there, huh, there's I'm a suspicious? Lot. There's a lot of different signs. Whether or not they turn out to be because of that is a different story, but... Okay. It's sending up red flags. Yeah. Okay. What well, have you seen? She'll tell me she has an appointment somewhere and hours and hours and hours and hours go by and she won't come back. And I'll blow... I, I have a demonstration if I can show you. Sure. Yeah. Okay, you know sure. Okay. What do you have? Some Step text to the messages. Mama. See, like right here, she told me she had an appointment at 4.30. She didn't come back to 8. Or it was 8 when I messaged her. I'm genuinely freaking out at this point, wondering where she is, if she got admitted to the hospital or something. I didn't know what was going on. She sends me a thumbs up. So like I every, Like I, everything's good. I responded, you better stop giving me a thumbs up. What the, you know, it's with you lately. You're acting different as blank. And, and she, she responds. Says, she says, no, I'm not, and that's it. That's pretty, pretty Your bad. Honor. But wouldn't a thumbs up be a sign that everything's okay, don't no. worry about me? That's a no, kind that's, of universal sign, That's more like sign, a sarcastic, right? like, okay. That's yeah. how you took it. That's like... how I took it. I have another one on here as well. Um, why is it taking so long? The appointment was for 11.45. It's going on 5 o'clock now. And then I tried to call her, and she ignored it and texted me I'm driving. <clears throat> wouldn't it be easier to answer the phone while you're driving than it would be to text? That you're driving. Well, they have this whole not texting while driving thing. Well, you ain't supposed that... to answer your phone either, but, but she's she doing it. If she hadn't responded at all, how upset would you have been? Probably a little more upset than I was. Okay. I mean, the, the, the best response would have been to answer the phone. Just hit the button, call back, or hands-free, whatever you use. Yeah. No, I'm not disagreeing with you on this one. 
On this one. On this one. On this one. Okay, but you're gonna find something else to disagree oh, with. Oh, you you definitely gonna give me something to disagree with you. I that's a given. That's a guarantee. That's a guarantee. I can count on it. You can count on it. All right. Mr. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Stewart, you can go back to the podium. There are no messages. I went to go do a couple deliveries and I had a family member with me actually, and he messaged me to go to one of his friends' house to grab something for him. And so because it took me so long to go to his friend's house to get it. It was a far drive, over an hour drive. Okay, but Ms. Bennett, so you deny that you're disappearing? No. You're Either not disappearing? I was working or going to get something for him. Because, I mean, it sounds like he's keeping pretty good track of where you are. Yeah. And when you fall off the grid for three hours, four hours at a time, that worries him. Sometimes I have to drive an hour to a location. But wouldn't he know that? Yes, he knows that. He's, he's gone with me. Well, how do you explain okay. the dating sites? Oh. You said that they're dating sites? Yeah. Tell I've me gotten, about that. I've got, we, both of our phones are connected to the same email. So okay. she gets an email for a notification. It comes to me as well. But when you go to check on it, they're not there. And so what did you do when you got this notification? I brought it up to her. And she says she don't know what I'm talking about. You submitted that to the court, correct? Yes, I did. Okay, let's take a look at that. So this is a dating site. It has Ms. Bennett's name and picture on there, has her age, and that she's female. And you're trying to figure out why she has a dating site if you all are engaged to be married. Yes. Okay, Ms. Bennett. Yes. Your Honor, as you can tell, the line up above, it shows that nobody views my profiles, really, and there's no messages. Whenever, whenever you but go... Why do you have a dating profile? Because, well, I had it. I forgot that I even had it up there. Your Honor, I'm not you know, using my work. She's got several years. different accounts on Facebook. I don't have access to any of them. How'd you find this out? Well, you know, I pick up her phone every once in a while when she's asleep and I'll look at it. So you, you clicked on one just to see what was going on. Yeah, I mean, she's told me that she uses them to, you know, check up on people that have blocked her or she's blocked or something like that. But why can't I get into them? Why, why every time I try, we get into a fight? Okay, well, Miss Bennett, that's a question. Why is it that he doesn't have access? He to does these? have access to him. All you have to do is tap it, and it logs in. But right. Honor, the all only reason I have multiple is I've been in Facebook jail, and can't get on for 30 days because I said something, and I just make a new account. Okay. Do you have any other reason to believe? Yeah, she was that working. Bennett is cheap? She was working at a hotel as a housekeeper. Okay. And mm -hmm. she came home with a little tip one day. And she told me how she was hanging out with this couple that she was servicing their room in. And that's bothered me to this day. Like, people don't just give you stuff for nothing. Your Honor. All right, Ms. Bennett. We have Bennett. a policy at the hotel. If you go into a room and the guest is in there, you keep the door open. Okay. And there's cameras that watch you from that door. So all I did was go in there, change their trash, and then they gave me a tip. And I, I called him right after I walked out of the room to let him know that I got the tip. Mr. Still, let me ask you this. She comes back after being with this couple and she has this big tip. I mean, for, according to her, not doing anything. But do you think they had some kind of threesome or something? That's disgusting. My gut tells me that she just likes the attention so much she might just leave me. Okay, so let me ask you this. Did you point blank ask Miss Bennett, did you have some kind of... Yes, I did. And what did she say? She said no. Okay. And we fought about it for weeks. Okay. Right. And Miss Bennett, you say that's disgusting, nothing happened. Yeah. Uh, the threesome's nasty. Like, the only person I want to be intimate with is him. Right. Okay. That's it. Mr. Steele, do you have any other reason to believe that she's cheating? Yeah, I mean, she works for a food delivery service and she'll, she'll be gone for hours on end and she'll make maybe five bucks. And then, you know, it's attached to my bank account so I can see, you know, what she's made and what she hasn't made. And for that many hours being gone, there should be some more, more money in my account than five dollars. Not if I'm not so, getting no right. orders. So, so you, and you submitted some uh, information to the court about this. Yes. And so this is a submission where she had, she made $5.41 between June 3rd and June 9th. So for six days, she made $5.41. Yes. So you mentioned about this disappearing act that she does. So for this whole week, she's gone this long period of time. You're expecting, okay, yeah. you're out there doing that food delivery. You should have more money. And after a week's time, it's $5.41. Exactly. And you're trying to figure out what in the world she's doing with all this other time. Exactly. Where is she?
Your Honor, I wasn't, I wasn't delivering all those days of those weeks. I only delivered one day. You were gone for six hours and you only delivered I for 42 minutes? My, I was working at my other job and sometimes we got off later than what we were supposed to because there was more to clean because I was a janitor. I... Uh, hold on, love. Got, hold on. Do y'all talk to each other? Because <laughs> I feel like y'all are not even... She's saying she's working job A, B, and C, and sometimes on B, but not on C when looking at A, and you're like, what? The only job you seem to know about is this one. Yeah. It's like, are y'all in the same? He knows about I, I work two job. jobs myself, and there's times where she'll text me or call me and be like, when, when are you going to be home? Like, she's checking up to find out when I'm on my way so she can hurry up and get whoever's there out. That's no. what I feel like. There's nobody else. All I want is him. All right, Mr. Collar, here's what we got. Ms. Bennett, okay. she will not be wearing that dress she brought here to show us if, if she is, in fact, cheating. Well, they don't seem to know what's going on with each other. They're, I mean, they're not keeping track. They don't know what's <laughs> going on, and... We, we talk a lot. It's just... Well, you know, I don't know what y'all talking about, because it ain't about this. Yeah. Always <laughs> turns into a fight. Well, to help figure all this out... Yes. ...to make sure we get all the stories straight, yes. to find out exactly what's going on, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, we will call former military interrogator Lena Sisko and licensed polygraph examiner Tommy Platt to determine, is she cheating? Ron, please escort them in. <laughs> you all conducted an interrogation and a polygraph examination on Ms. Bennett, correct? Correct, Your Honor. You each asked her the same questions and you documented her responses. Yes. All right. Ms. Sisko, you asked Ms. Bennett, when it pertains to Mr. Steele's concerns about Ms. Bennett's use of Facebook and dating sites, what did you learn during your investigation? When I asked Ms. Bennett about the Facebook pages, she took out her phone and she showed me all of her pages. She had nothing to hide. She scrolled through, through them and showed me everything that was in these pages. When I asked her about the dating apps, she told me I didn't know how to delete them off my phone. And she didn't try to oversell that. So liars will ta sometimes try to oversell something with a lot of extra information. I call it fluff, just to convince you of that lie. And Ms. Bennett never did that. So I also saw no signs of deceptions, and I believe she's telling the truth. Mr. Platt, you asked Ms. Bennett, since getting engaged to Mr. Steele, have you had sexual intercourse with another man you've met off of a dating site? What was her response? Your Honor, she stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful. You look a little bit relieved. Yeah, I am. And I see some tears. Yeah, because I've been telling the truth. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. We got more. Ms. Sisko, you talked to her about Mr. Steele's concern regarding whether Ms. Bennett cheated on him when she was working at a hotel. Yes, I What did. were you able to determine? When Ms. Bennett started telling me about this accusation, she was really vague, and I had concerns that she was lying to me by omission. So I had to really ask her specific detailed questions because I wanted to make her think to provide me detailed answers. So when she was telling me about what happened, her eyes would go and anchor up to the left, which was indicative and congruent with her eye pattern movement analysis when she was telling me the truth. So again, I saw no signs of deception there. And I flat out asked her, did you have a threesome with this couple? She said no, she was congruent with her body language, and then she added she's never had a threesome with anyone. So I believe she was telling me the truth. Mr. Platt, you asked Ms. Bennett, since getting engaged to Mr. Steele, have you had sexual intercourse with another man? What was her response to that question? Your Honor, she stated no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was telling the truth. <laughs> so, 
So, Mr. Steele, is it safe to say that the wedding is back on? Yes. You're gonna kiss my butt. Kiss it. <laughs> kiss it. Kiss it. I told her if she passed, I'd kiss her butt. Mr. Cutler, every day is something new. That's all right. Yeah, but it's, there it's it good. is. It's all there good. It is. This took a huge right. weight off my shoulders. So the wedding is back on. Uh, it turned out that Ms. Bennett was not being unfaithful to you. And I, what I would say to you all is you all really need to work on conversation, not just talking at each other or yelling at each other, but listening to each other.